Hey guys, it's Chris here from Chris's Creative Life and I design workshops that help you create beautiful layouts from start to finish with easy to follow guides. Okay, so I don't know who has been following along or not following along, but I have posted a whole series. There's a playlist on my YouTube channel of the Remember Today Cut Above Layout Kit. So I was actually gonna film earlier today and this was just sitting here on my desk and I thought, well, I'll just come and do it live this afternoon and we'll see how it goes. So um, like I said, all the other videos are already posted on my YouTube channel if you're interested in watching. So this is page number 11. So the first two are, first two, the first 10 are over there already. And um, so I'm almost finished. We're in like the home stretch. We're in the last line here of the layout. So I'm gonna do this one today, Everyday Magic, because who doesn't have some of that? So just like all the other ones, I have printed my photos already. I'm gonna assemble them pretty much how they were originally designed, and then I'm just gonna spruce them up just a little bit because they're super hard for me to just leave alone and not do anything with. So I'm gonna shoot myself up into the corner and let's get started. So for this one, the title was Everyday Moments, right? So I just picked a couple of super generic photographs. Um, for whoever doesn't know, I'm creating this as a Christmas gift for my mother-in-law. So, um, and like I said, I've now assembled them all on camera. I'm actually just gonna zoom out just a little bit so I can get the whole background in the frame there we go okay so for whoever hasn't done any form of cut above uh, it's basically like a small well they can be sm big or small and they're typically pre-printed pages and then there's some sticker pieces you get your own photo mats so we're going to add our photos on our photo mats in a second so here is the background for this layout. I think I have an extra piece here. That goes with something else. Okay, so this is the pre-printed background and how cute is that? Again, lots of them too, you can get great inspiration for like your regular scrapbooking pages, right? This would be super easy to duplicate and do as one page or create a two page spread with this rectangular block with all these little squares on it. The squares are all two inches by two inches. So you could totally um, take this uh, on this side and then even rotate it over here for your second page of your layout if you prefer to do a two page spread with kind of the um, general pattern so on here there's like little pre-printed stitching and then all of this is flat right so that is one of the nice advantages about um cut above kits is the background is completely flat but they can do things to it to make it look more fancy or have a technique or something on it already okay so this is the background and this is the direction that it is supposed to go. And then there are some punch out pieces. So we're just going to punch those out. There's cute little banners. So I did grab a couple of extra embellishments. So I grabbed clear sparkles and then I have grabbed my clear shimmer brush and we're going to use some of that on the stars. I thought it would be pretty on the stars. So they're part of the punch out. So I'm just kind of laying them down where they are or where they belong, I guess, on the layout. So there's these cute, I love a good graph paper and when it's even colored like that. So this is just like a yellow or probably sun dance graph paper, which is fun. So they just punch out and you can kind of just, I'm just going to lay them down, like I said, kind of where they belong. There's a little file tab here. Fun. You don't even have to 
cut it out with your Cricut or your die cutting machine. So there's a little star up here with the um, doodle on it. We're just going to cut off where I just ripped a little bit. So I hope you guys have had fun following along this as I do all the whole procedure of all of these pages. And um, I do have plans to come on and show you the finished calendar before I wrap it all up. Like I said, we're almost finished. I only have two more left to go, two more pages. So then the little banner pieces, these are so cute. So we're just going to put some up here with the little glacier one in the middle, the two lagoon ones on the outside. It might be just a, even a fun series of videos for me to come back and take some of these layouts. Okay, so I punched everything out since we only got it now. Um, take some of these layouts and um, reproduce them with um, just regular scrapbooking material. Okay, the stickers, I am going to actually add my sticker on before we start. Too much more here. So when I look over here at my little picture, my sticker is right here. So I actually forgot to grab my Versamat. So we're going to hope that I can get everything relatively straight. Okay, and these just have little tiny insides of the letters. So I'm just going to punch them out before I lay them down so they don't get stuck onto my page. And so I'm just adding this so the C is almost touching the edge there. So now I just need to take these sticky things off my fingers. Okay. And here we go. I'm going to show you. So I think you probably saw in lots of the other videos where I um, pulled off the backing so you can see the true size of the stickers. And we're going to do this with this every day so I can lay it down and it's spaced out evenly and I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just pulling the white backing off. Well, actually, I guess it's like the front. It's the extra around the stickers. So you can see what a huge difference it is when you pull it off. So because all, all the ink goes around the letters or whatever the sticker is. These just happen to be letters. They're far more dainty than they appear with their full background, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to take the centers out of the letters and then I'm going to trim the sticker and add it to my page and just kind of pull off the backing from behind. And then my letters should be relatively evenly spaced. So I'll just show you what I'm doing here. This one is tiny. So I will just put it back on its same spot. Okay.
so there we go okay so now I can just trim underneath my letters just a little bit and lay them down and they'll be spaced accordingly and I don't have to worry about lining them up with the ruler or anything so we're just going to go right here actually so that's interesting because when you look at the picture their letters are actually tighter so they must not have done that so we'll do this we'll put my ruler down and we'll start in the middle so oh i also have the little eye to put there so the little dot for the eye So this one should not take very long. So my goal is to have this all finished, I think by next week. I have a bunch of other ideas of things coming. So um, people have been asking when we're gonna do the December perpetual calendar piece so I think we'll do that first up next week because we are in December now. I can hardly believe it. December the 9th. But I'll use that same um, stamp for December, the months of the year stamps. The December one is super cute. So the perpetual calendar has been a super fun um, series also. I'm trying to decide if I'll do a different set of perpetual calendars for next year because I actually really enjoyed it. So okay so there we go. So let's put our photos together. So for this one there's a three by five. No. There's a three by three and a four by three. And I'm just trying to see if I trimmed these or not. No, okay, so we're not gonna have a little white border. So we don't need our mats. So Normally I trim just like a little, like one eighth of an inch so that I have the white border, but I think I didn't do it because the mats are already three by threes. So these are just a couple of pictures I got of my daughter and her boyfriend. So they will be one day on the calendar page. I try to um, have some pictures for everybody on the calendar, including animals, because my mother-in-law loves the animals. So, it's kind of like your grandkids, right? They're fun to have around as long as they go home at the end of the day. That's, I think, how she feels about them. Okay, so I'm going to just add the one of the graph circles down here, just lining it up with my actual grid lines. And I'll add the second one, and then we'll add the photographs on top. I didn't add a ton of dimension to this project because it is a calendar, right? And so you're rotating the pages all the time. So I didn't want to add extra bulk onto it. There we go. 
And I'm gonna add the little journal box. This is so cute, this little tiny journal box. I love this one. Just a little tiny, right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my pictures on before I start adding anything else on here. So we'll go with the four by three. And just kind of gonna go, I think, right about there. And then the three by three. Okay, I think I need to move this just a little bit because I want to show up more. So they do have this photograph overlap. So be careful when you are picking your photo. So I can't obviously go too far over or I'm gonna cut them off. So. I'm going to add my adhesive and then tuck that grid piece behind. So I want this like this and then I'm going to add my grid piece behind so I get it more in the right spot. There we go. Okay, and then some of these I'm gonna pop up on, like I said, three, 3D foam tape, but I'm gonna go with like the thin version. So I just grabbed the dots. I have some dots sitting on my desk, and then I have a roll of tape if we need it. But these are super quick. So. Kind of handy. And there we go. So You gotta make sure when you are making a handmade gift for somebody that they're really gonna appreciate it. And it's, I actually know that she appreciates it every single year. So it is worth the effort. So have these two down here. Gonna add this little one flat I think. You could also add doodles if you wanted to draw more attention to the stars because they're just black so just grab your pen and you could add more doodles if that's something you wanted to do. There we go. You know what? I'm going to put my eye on before I forget to add the dot. Not that I think I would, but I have been known to do things like that. So I just don't want to forget. Okay. And then there is a little sticker that goes on this one. So I'm just gonna add the smallest sticker on here. And I'll add my little file tab over here. And then we have our little banners. And I think I'm gonna add my sparkles in between there. And then I'll add some on the page too. So 
and add these flat, just however you want. And they don't have to be attached to anything. You could also draw a little doodle line. That would be super cute behind there. So I'm just kind of trying to leave enough space to add my sparkles there. There we go. So then I'm just going to add, you could also just do the bitty sparkles if you wanted instead of the clear sparkles, if you wanted them even smaller. The clear sparkles and the bitty sparkles also make like a great combination together. Okay, so then I'm going to add this one down at the bottom and same thing. I'm going to add some little sparkles between. Add in some glitter. So see, it's like totally not necessary, but it's just a fun little detail to add. Okay, so. This little banner goes up here. I love the weight of the sticker sheets. They are such, like they're a little bit thicker, so you don't really worry about, um, you know, sometimes with like old stickers in the olden days, they used to um, be super thin and rip really easily. So none of the Close to My Heart stickers are like that. There's like a good, there's a solid, they're solid and like a card stock, like a heavier card stock weight. So this one, I think I will pop up. I'm sure it's just a matter of technology too, right? With like scrapbooking products, right? Versus when they first printed, started printing on stickers. As I'm sure most of you remember, like Mrs. Grossman stickers were some of the first scrapbooking stickers I think I ever had. I'm sure if I went into my um, storage closet, I think I could even pull out some probably. I'm not sure that they're still sticky anymore. I think that I think that the general rule is I think adhesive you want to use it within I think 6 years or it's not sticky anymore. So, I could be don't quote me on that, but I do think that is what I remember. Okay, we're almost done. See, I told you it wouldn't be very long. But let's add The last little white sticker over here and then I can add the heart stickers and then decide if I need any more clear sparkles. Hmm. It's interesting. I don't know where this is unless it's a layer on top of something else. 
Okay, well, we're going to put it somewhere. So there's two little sticker hearts. So we're going to add those. We'll add one up here. And one over here. So I actually think I'm going to add this lighter one into this cluster over here. Okay, so all our stickers are on now. So now I'm just going to take a few of the little sparkles and sprinkle them about. go looks awesome okay so now I'm just gonna add a little bit I think of clear shimmer brush and that will be it so I'm gonna add it on some of the stars just add a little shine and do the inside of this one with the doodle lines and leave the border around the outside. So I'm just adding like a thin coat and it just adds a little bit of sparkle. Cause you have to remember too, especially on something like this. So the calendar pages, they're not behind page protectors until after, right? So you can really see when you add some shimmer to some things on those pages all year long. So I'm going to make this one match the other one and then I'm going to do this last or more one star that's more orange versus the yellow. I'll leave the yellow ones the way they are. So I'm doing this one to match just like I did on the bottom. Oh, it would have looked super cute too with some um, gilt spray. You know what? Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to use, nope, that's cheddar. Don't do that by accident. Okay. So I'm going to add some splatter here and some splatter here because the photos are in the middle. I'm going to cover them up so I don't get any on them and hopefully we don't have any accidents. So I'm going to use the gloss spray, the glass, the glossy acrylic spray in gilt. And so I'm just grabbing a piece of paper out of my garbage. And, okay, so I shook it up so that, and you can see on the bottom when all your um, sparkle, basically, is um, moving around. And you can hear it. Some of them have balls in them, some of them don't. I should probably actually put my all-purpose mat down so I don't end up with it all over my desk. There we go. Okay. So I'm not going to spray it because that's not the look I want. I don't want that solid spray. I just want um, some splatter. So I'm going to use the nozzle that's actually in here and tap it. To get my splatter so it's kind of hard to see on the dark harbor background but it just adds kind of a little something there I think okay and then I'm just gonna do it over here so same thing I'm just covering everything up because I already glued it all down you could do this before and then not worry about your photos but 
you guys know sometimes I'm all about the thinking on my feet thing I don't um, pre-plan everything typically so putting my lid on before I have an accident because that would happen to me so that is super pretty okay so I'm gonna let that dry and then I will take some pictures and I'll ask what I'll, uh, also add them on here so like I said this was page number 11 we're just whipping along only two more pages left so I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this series and like I said I have not changed them drastically I've kind of just added little bits of extras along the way and so there's two more to do and then I will do like the full reveal and we'll leaf through the calendar before I wrap it up for my mother-in-law so I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later bye bye Thank you everyone for joining me for the 11th page of the Remember Today series. If you're looking for more details, you can find them on my blog at chriscreativelife.com. Have a great day.